When you have depression, does that mean that you have weak or no faith? And the faith that I'm going to be talking about today is Christianity because I'm a Christian and the person that asked me the question was a Christian. So this video is specifically for the Christians and the curious. The easiest way and the best way for me to support my concept that having depression does not mean that you have weak faith is by going straight to the book. To the book. Not out my head. To the book. Two times in the Bible, God calls David a man after his, his own heart. 1 Samuel 13, 14, God says, But now your kingdom will not endure, and the Lord has sought out a man after his own heart, and appointed him ruler of his people, because you have not kept the Lord's commands. And basically, he was talking to a king, and he was saying he sought out David, a man after his own heart. Next. God calls David a man after his own heart in Acts 13, 22. After removing Saul, he made David their king. God testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. There's a few more times in the Bible that God talks about David being um, serving God with his whole heart. 1 Kings 11, 4. In 1 Kings 14, 8. 1 Kings 15, 3. So let me read you Psalm 13. Psalms, the Psalms were written by David and they were written as songs. This is David and we're talking about depression and whether depression means weak faith. This is the David I have just established that God said is a man after his own heart. The David that God said followed him with his whole heart. This is David's words. How long, Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long will I wrestle with my thoughts and day after day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Okay, let me just stop there. That's verse 1 and 2, Psalm 13. If that doesn't sound like somebody who's going through some depressive pits, I don't know what sounds like it. Okay, and this is the man after God's own heart. It goes on to say in verse 3, look on me and answer. It means he thinks God isn't anywhere. God's left. Lord, my God, give light to my eyes and I will sleep in death. Give light to his eyes. He feels like it's, it's everything's dark and he just wants to go to sleep. And my enemies will say I have overcome him. Right. He won't be successful in any of his in any of his efforts. And my foes will rejoice when I fall. OK. Before I go on, I don't think that depression is weak faith. Because if depression was weak faith, this man, who seems to be showing signs of serious depression in the Bible, would not have been called God's man after his own heart. I mean, here's what I'm going to end this video with saying. If you are a Christian and you are suffering depression, it doesn't mean you have weak faith. But it means you're looking at the wrong thing. Because look at what David says at the end. But I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing the Lord's praise, for he has been good to me. So, does depression mean weak faith? Faith? No, it doesn't mean weak faith. But can, can it mean that you have taken your eyes off of what you should be looking at? Because people who have depression have a tendency to be hypercritical and kind of hyper self-absorbed. Like they have a tendency to think and analyze themselves and be perfectionists and kind of go into this place in their mind and grind it out until they kind of grind themselves into a pit and they feel like God's forgotten them and they feel like God's left them and it's all about them actually and I would suggest to you that you take your eyes off of yourself and you start looking in the direction that God wants you to look in and finding yourself in the way that God wants you to, to find yourself. And I know that that's simplistic to say when you're in the pit, but that that's pretty much what I think. So I almost forgot to add that do I believe that depression can be caused by a chemical imbalance in the brain? I don't know. I mean, is it plausible? Potentially. Have I heard people say that there are no studies to support that it really is? I've heard that. However, I believe that we are a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in a body. All those things can have, um, be not functioning as God intended them to be functioning. And here's my thoughts on it. If there was a balm in Gilead, and if there, um, if Saul was soothed by David's music, if, if people can go to the elders and have oil, put on them to anoint them for healing. Um, 
then I, I think that my Bible says that there are things, therapies that you can do to assist you in the symptoms that are caused by your disease. Depression medication isn't going to heal your depression. It's going to help you alleviate the symptoms. Kind of like an aspirin is going to help you alleviate the headache. But if your headache is caused by an aneurysm, then that's not helping you heal. It's just helping you alleviate the symptoms. So um, hopefully that made sense. I just forgot to jump on and add that. So yeah. Bye y'all.